Hello everyone, for those who don't know me, my name's Connie and I'm part of the team here at Lower Drayton Farm. This year we have something very exciting for you guys to do at home. So, we have our spooky masks. I'll show you, these will be available for you guys to print off and decorate at home. We are gonna have a little competition to see whose mask turns out the best. I think it's going to be mine though. To begin, we will need to get all of our equipment together. So, here's what I've got. So guys, I have my two masks to choose from. We have a cute little pumpkin and a cute little Frankenstein. I have some groovy scissors and some normal scissors. I have some coloring pens, some glitter, because glitter makes everything better. I also have some lollipop sticks. You can choose to use string if that's something you prefer. I just prefer to use lollipop sticks. I have some crayons here as well, some fluffy cotton balls, and some glue with a little brush to apply the glue. Once you've got all your equipment together, you can then start the fun part. I'm going to choose this little guy today. So I'm gonna choose this little guy, but you can choose whoever you want, whatever you're most excited about. I'm gonna start off with my green crayon and I'm gonna color him green. And once I've done that, we will come back. Okay guys, so once you've done that, I'll show you mine. Once you've done that, I think this is a very good time to start cutting out your mask. So I'm going to quickly do that and then I'll pop back. Now that you have coloured your Frankenstein in, I'm now going to move on to his little hair at the top here. And I think I want to go for some black glitter. Um, you don't have to do this at home. Again, use the resources that you already have. If you've got some crayons, do with crayons. But I just love glitter. So I'm going to go in with this. Um, I will show you me doing this so I am going to use a little bit of glue and I'm going to go around where I want it not too carefully because glitter is supposed to be messy I suppose so go all the way around and then get your glitter and just give it a little sprinkle 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 and once I have done the rest of my Frankenstein I will show you Guys, that was a messy process, but and I did have to do it a couple of layers, um, but I think I've got it to where I wanted it. Now I'm going to move on to these little guys here. I'm very unsure what I'm going to do, but I think I might use some cotton. Some cotton. So I'm going to see what that looks like, and I will come back. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit of glue on each one. And then I'm going to break up my cotton ball and I'm going to just stick as I go along just little bits at a time because we can always add more and it's just a little bit harder to take away so just keep sticking until you're kind of happy with it which I think I am he has little fluffy ears we like to say Okay, brilliant. Okay, next step is to cut out your eyes. So with this, get your scissors, make sure you do ask a parent or guardian to help you with this, as scissors can be quite sharp. But I'm going to poke a hole in my eye, like this, and then just cut around to make your hole. Okay, so now you have your two eye holes. Wow, this is a look. Then I'm just gonna place them down like this. And this is when I said at the beginning, you could use string. Um, I'm going to use lollipop sticks. I'm just gonna stick them inside just so I can hold it up. Again, that's probably not um, the easy option. I suppose it'll be easier just to kind of put it on the head, use a piece of string, and then you don't have to hold it. So you can go and trick or treat and get all the, the sweets without having to worry about your mask. But I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of glue on each side. Kind of let that go a bit tacky. I'm going to try and pick it up now, but the glue might, hasn't quite set yet. No. Okay. I'm going to leave that for a little while and we'll be back when it's all dry. One, two, three. 
Uh, pretty awesome, if you ask me. But I might be a little biased because I did make it. But look at that sparkly hair. Wow. Okay, guys. Now you've seen me make mine. I'm challenging you to make yours at home. These will be available to you so you can print them off and do some crazy designs. And I'm looking forward to seeing them. Thank you, guys.